Hello, ExoSage here on the Sage channel, and this week's Space Engineers update might not be the most flashy thing, in fact I'm not too keen on it overall, but there is one very important thing with it, and that is mass of cargo containers is now going to be kept. So, way to, I can demonstrate that very easily actually is to come up here and what I have are two basic cargo containers with thruster systems and timers set up on them. The one on the right is empty, and basically what I'm going to do here is push this button. It's going to turn on the single back thruster and disable the inertial dampener ones, and it's going to go for 10 seconds, and then it's going to go ahead and shut off that thruster and turn on the inertial dampening ones, stopping it. Now, as I said, that cargo container is empty. This cargo container, on the other hand, if we were looking here, you can see it has 200,000 stone. So if we turn this on, you can see right away, the thruster is on just like the other one, but it is not accelerating as quickly because it has more mass inside there. So now whatever is inside a cargo container is actually accounted for when you're moving your ships. So as you can see, these ships fired their thrusters for the exact same amount of time, yet, as you can see, they went <laughs> shockingly different distances. So you're going to have to take that into account when you're stuffing all sorts of stuff into your cargo containers. Please note, this is also probably going to help balance out the idea that you have X5000 inventory space. Also, you can see that it does affect small ships, so I believe the one on the left here is the one that is empty, was it? Nope, this is the one with 20,000 in it, so we're going to go ahead and hop in this one first and quickly fly this little ship about, and as you can see, it's a pretty quick little thing. Very zippy, flies around fairly easily without much of a problem. But if we were to buzz it back down here and then hop into the one with 20,000, we should see a bit of a difference. So right away you can see its acceleration is a bit slower. The turning rate seems to actually be about the same, but you can see that instead of us just easily buzzing about everything, we're going much, much slower. We can of course make this even more evident if we were to go ahead and spawn in, let's say something else. So let's just grab a random component steel plates and let's just go ahead and spawn in 20,000 of those as well and set it let's go with like 200,000 so we'll grab those once again because I'm in creative I can stuff whatever I want in there so I can go ahead and press put way more than we should ever be able to hold in there and now when I go ahead and attempt to accelerate you can see it's taking quite a lot to get us moving in fact so much so we can barely move we can still turn mind you I do have four gyroscopes but we're not really making any progress at all. So, keep that in mind when you're building your ship. You might have some really simple ship with a large cargo container stuck on it that's been serving you pretty well. Might not work so well anymore. The other thing that this update has done that you might have noticed a little bit as I was flying about there is that if I was to hop in here and start flying, let's turn off our light so it's not all washed out. There we are. You can see they've added this particle effect. Now, it's kind of cool. I almost feel like I'm going into warp speed and I can disable my inertial dampers and it'll still stay there. In fact, I can go ahead and rotate my screen and you can see they indicate the direction you're going. So you can still see they're coming from the other direction. Now it looks like we're going in reverse warp speed or something terrible like that. Or I guess just sitting at the back of a ship at warp speed. And of course we can slow down. Now these particles will show up if you are in the cockpit of a small ship, if you're on foot going at 10 plus meters per second, or if you are in third person view while in a large ship. It's currently designed so that one year, if you're in first person view on a large ship, it will not actually show up to you, whether you're walking around it or not. I should also point out that the cargo in your inventory will also affect the mass of a ship, something I forgot to say a minute ago. So if you had, let's say, those 20,000 stones and you were inside this little ship with it, it would handle as if you had that 20,000 stones inside the ship itself. Unless it's a large ship and you're just walking around within it, Unless it will not count then, because it only counts it when you're actually in a seat on the ship. This particle effect, by the way, back to what I was originally flying out there for, is not something I'm particularly fond of. It seems a bit stressful when you're going for a while, and it seems like the particle effects are showing up what feels like just a few feet in front of me. But overall, it's, it's an interesting idea. I just think it needs more refinement. Because currently it just feels like these particles are warping in and out right next to you and not really being particles in space that you just happen to be finding. Also, they make me a little worried that I'm going to run into them or something or they're going to be knocking away at my health slowly like mi micro particles going at high speed would. Uh, yep, that's actually it for today's update. It's a pretty simple update. The mass thing is pretty awesome. The devs have said that one of the reasons the updates are feeling more and more lackluster is because they are actually doing stuff to make planets ready. They're trying their damnedest to get planets, and they actually said multiplayer code 
updated. So look forward to seeing or hearing more about that in the near future, hopefully. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you a bunch for watching. I'm going to end this with one last little thing. I'm going to jump this large ship here to see if those particles might do anything interesting as we jump. Maybe we'll actually get a new jumping effect sometime soon too. Maybe not considering they are very busy with planets and multiplayer stuff. So let's go ahead and start accelerating this big ship. Luckily, I think most of its cargo is empty, so we don't have to worry about it being weighed down by anything. It is just a jump ship anyhow. And there we go. The particles have started showing up because we got above 10 meters per second. And of course, as I said, they're only showing up in third person. In fact, it seems like a bit finicky at times, but there you go. But basically, the only reason they show up in third person is because they don't want them showing up within the bounding box of the ship. Because, Like there, I'm inside the bounding box now, so they're not showing up, but there I get outside. And because that's because you don't want to be walking around inside a ship that's moving at speed and see the particles actually going through the ship. That would be really bad. All right. There we go. We're up to a pretty good speed. Let's go ahead and just set ourselves to jump and let's see how this effect goes with the jumping. Can't actually hear the jump drive, but it is charging. Nope, nothing new there and the particle effects didn't really show too much, even though I am of course still moving. One last thing really quick is they did also add a few more tutorials so you can go look through the tutorials and you'll be able to see that they've added a few more little things to help newcomers to the game get acquainted with it. Alright guys, that's it for this update. Thanks a bunch for watching. I hope you found this informative and somewhat entertaining, even though it was a pretty simplistic and short update. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta.